When I hit 50 and went through menopause, my body started to change. And I thought that that was just a result of menopause. And, and I guess I gave into the idea that that was normal, that I could never regain that slimmer toned body. <laughs> and so I tried many diets. I tried exercising. I tried lots of different exercises and eating programs, but none of these things really worked or lasted until I found Body Slims. If you've watched my channel, you know this is the program that I signed on to last year in January. So it's 2023. I did the program in January of 2022. It's a 10-week program. It's out of Dublin. Uh, Jared Moran, I believe, is the, the gentleman that coaches the program. And he challenged me to think about how I was eating, what I was eating, how I was thinking about eating, and so much more. If you are a woman over 50 and you have been challenged with the, the process of aging, menopause, pre-menopause, in menopause, after menopause, if you have struggled with weight loss, this may be a wonderful option for you. I was very successful losing weight on this program. I ended up losing 30 pounds in 10 weeks, but toward the end of the year, I started kind of backsliding and doing things that I know weren't healthy choices for me having wine every night or I have a handful of nuts or enjoy pizza once a week. <laughs> These are things that really add up for me and there's no reason to do them. And here's the thing. I never feel good when I do these things, and, and I'm not talking mentally. My body does not like this kind of food. I get sleepy. I have a hard time falling asleep. I have a hard time waking up. During the day, I feel sleepy. I feel lethargic. And when I was eating natural, clean, when I was buying fresh food, cooking fresh food, eating fresh food, my body loved it. I would wake up about an hour before I needed to and be ready for my day. I had clearer thinking. I did not feel, you know, fidgety or uncomfortable in my clothes. There's so many things I noticed, but in particular, I noticed these things. All this to say, I have signed up again for the January Body Slims program. I had not been worrying with stepping on the scale, but this week, really, when I got in the car to go to work and my pants felt tight, I noticed I was very fidgety, which is something that happens when I'm uncomfortable in my clothes. <laughs> and so I had been following the emails and watching as the course was being promoted, and I just thought, I've got to get this under control or I'm going to continue going down that path of bad habits, bad eating, and weight gain. And I know I can do it, and I know you can do it, and here's what I'm thinking. If you're interested in following along with me, signing on to the program, giving it a try, if you're not ready, you can see how it works and how I'm doing it, and I will vlog it and post videos here. As of filming today, I think it's Friday, January the 5th, there are 11 spots left. I only just enrolled Tuesday, I think, is $250, which is about $3.70 a day for 70 days, which for me, the cost per day is fabulous because the benefits are lifelong lasting. If I would just follow the rules, <laughs> I know what a Body Slims day is. It's easy. It's eating my own food. There's no expense involved. You just buy the right groceries. You cook your own food. You eat three meals a day. And if you're going to snack, eat an apple or eat something that's healthy. I know what to do. But when I sign on to this program, his coaching and his words that are so real and raw, and it just helps me, I think, be a better person overall. I mean, I know that's deep, but I don't even think you have to be trying to lose weight to appreciate the lessons that he teaches. <laughs> and so, of course, I think it's wonderful. I think he's brilliant. I think he's a 
treasure that many people have not discovered. He's the one that is coaching you every day, morning and night. You're hearing wisdom from him. I love that. I just really do. You don't often get to be connected to the person who created the program, to the person who truly is the top coach. And that is who he is. He calls himself the head coach. And not only is he the lead coach, the head coach, but he is the head coach. He gets in your head and he sticks in your head. And these things he says are so inspirational and they're so true. And they're thoughts that um, may seem very complicated, but once he says them, they're so simple and they're just good life tenants. That's why I'm, I enrolled again, in addition to being overweight again and needing to get this under control. I wanna be healthy. I don't wanna have a stroke. I want to sleep up and feel refreshed and ready for these days that are blessings in my life. I wanna be able to crawl on the floor with my grandchildren. One of the things to think about is what is your why? When I think about what is my why, why, why am I doing this again? Why do I need to lose weight? This is an interesting question because many people look at me and they say, why are you, why are you trying to lose weight? You're fine. You're slim. You, you, you don't look overweight. What they don't know is the effects of that extra body weight on my body. And they don't know my BMI and they don't know how clothes can hide body fat and things like that. So one of the things I encourage you to think about is when other people are wanting to lose weight or gain weight, that that, that is their decision. This is my decision. This is something I'm doing for my health because I know when my body feels most healthy. I have had people say, you know, why are you, why, why are you trying to lose weight? You're going to get too thin or what have you. Well, I know what a healthy BMI is and I know what my BMI is and I know what my target BMI is. And if you don't know what that is, it's body mass index and you can just Google that and type in your height and your weight. What you don't always see is body fat. So I know that my arms and my legs and my body has always been more toned than it is now. I've always worked really hard to stay fit and toned. And so my goal in going back on this program is not just to lose weight. My goal is to lose unwanted body fat so that I can then go back and tone up what's left to be more fit for me. I like that look on me. I'm curious to know, as a woman over 50 who has gone through menopause, can I lose body fat and then rebuild tone? That is one of the things I am very interested in learning in this session of Body Slims. I want to lose the weight and I want to do the exercises that are on the program and I wanna lose weight so that I can then start fresh and rebuild muscle and tone. That is so interesting to me as a woman over 50. And if you're interested in doing that with me, I would love to have you join along even if you don't take part in the Body Slims program, that's fine too. I think you can just go on their website and read about it. I'm going to be vlogging and filming videos and putting messages up to share my experience. Again, my why, why am I doing this, is a personal reason. I want to be healthier. I know that this age is a very high stroke risk age. I want to have my BMI in a healthy range. I want to feel healthy. I want to wake up rested and I want to not, and I don't want to feel sluggish throughout the day. I want my body to be as healthy as I can get it. I want to be around. I want to live life. I want to enjoy the things that I've worked my entire life for. I am very much looking forward to those days and doing whatever it is that I want to do or explore or create. I'm taking steps now so that I can be my healthy self then. I mean, I've been healthy and I appreciate that, but I don't want to lose that momentum or I don't want to lose ground just because I'm aging. I'm just going to have to put the chatter to the back of my head when people say things like, why are you losing weight? Or you look fine or don't lose too much weight. 
I'm not going to do that. I worked for a nutritional institution for 13 years, and I know exactly what body mass index should be. I know about body composition and fat, and I'm going to keep it healthy. I'm going to eat foods that provide my body with calories and that my body will use and not store. And then when I get to the weight I want, I'm going to spend the rest of the year trying to tone that up and then that will just be a lifelong maintenance goal. Just because I'm saying I want to do all these things and achieve all these things, we're human and we slip and we slide. So I will absolutely give myself grace and encourage you to do the same thing. These are my goals. This is why I have decided to do Body Slims again. I encourage you to think about what is your why? Do you want to join with me? Do you have reasons why you know you want to lose weight or get fit? I'm interested in, in getting to know you. Leave a note below, make a comment. Let me know if you're interested in doing a live. I would be happy to do that. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Of course, I am not a professional. I'm just a 59 year old woman who has decided to start a YouTube channel and share with you the, the challenges that I face as a woman over 50 and am interested in growing a community of women who may benefit from combining thoughts, supporting each other, sharing information, and just having a place for us to hang out and grow and evolve together. So I am committing to the next 70 days of living by that program of what the head coach says, and I'm going to do what he says and when he says to do it because it works. So yesterday was my first full day back on Body Slims. The program has not started. It starts on January the 18th, but I know what a Body Slims day is. It's 1,200 calories. It's living in a calorie deficit. It's eating healthy foods, foods that your body is going to use the calories that you put into it and not store any of them. So for me, my usual day consists of a couple of eggs for breakfast and I'll have some spinach with that or mushrooms. And that may not sound good, but it is delicious. I just stick everything in a pan and away I go. In about three minutes, my breakfast is ready. For lunch, I have about four cups of green spring mix, five tomatoes, half a cucumber, half a bell pepper, and some matchstick carrots, and then two tablespoons of the Paul Newman's balsamic vinaigrette. And then for dinner, I had a small chicken breast steamed. Actually, I put it in the crock pot all day, so I have chicken for the week. And then I made Brussels sprouts with that. And then I had one apple in the afternoon. Now here's the other thing that I did. I started back drinking two liters of water a day. That is so critical to this diet for me. I know he says drink water, but for me, when I drink water, a lot of things happen. Number one, it helps keep me fuller. Number two, it really changes my skin. I look back to when I just finished this program in April last year, January, February, March, I guess it was March, and my skin looks so good and so full and healthy and radiant. And lately, my skin has been a little ruddy, and so I've been face masking, and I've been you know, trying to do everything I can to make it look healthy, but it doesn't look as healthy as when I finished this diet. And one of the reasons is, number one, I was putting great food into my body consistently, and I was drinking the two liters of water every day. I fill up two water bottles, and I just go until they're gone. I mean, I don't sit there chugging it, <laughs> but by noon, I've pretty much finished one, and then by the end of the day, I have finished the other, and the rest is lanyap, as we call it. It's just the little extra water that you get with dinner or what have you. I'm kind of considering this my onboarding to the program. This is me getting ready to actually start mid-January, but because I have my daughter's wedding, since I've gained 10 pounds, my dress is tight, and so I need to start early. I'm starting now doing the things I know to do. It's just because I know what to do, and I've got to get those 10 pounds off. <laughs> so I fit into this amazing dress that I bought. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to take pictures today so that as I go through this process, I can see the results. When I did this the first time, 
I took pictures, but I was standing in front of my bathroom mirror and you can see them on my thumbnails and they weren't the best pictures. Of course, I didn't want to take pictures. I mean, who wants to take that picture of your body when you're not feeling the most confident? But I learned in the end that those pictures helped me see the change. I didn't even realize that I had gained that much weight. I've talked about change blindness before. I had changed so much, but my eyes did not see that change. I just saw what I was used to seeing for 50 years. So when I turned 50 and then went through my 50s and continued to gain weight, that gradual change was not perceptive to my eye. I knew I was wearing clothes that were larger, but it just still didn't register with my eyeballs. So <laughs> as I went through the program, and I saw at the end my physical change, then it really clicked. I guarantee that if you do this program or if you don't, if you choose to do something else, taking those pictures is really helpful. It's really important because it, it captures that moment in time and otherwise you may not see it. You may see it, but you may not see it. I didn't see it until I saw it. <laughs> Anyway, these are my thoughts as I sign back into Body Slims. If you haven't read about it, I encourage you to visit their website or watch the videos on my playlist below. I'd love to have you join along as I diet for the next 70 days. I will be vlogging it and recording it and making notes. And so I'd love it if you want to join me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.